South African Reserve Bank Governor Lesecha Kanyako has called for a revision of the country's inflation target currently set between 3% and 6% during a lecture at the University of Stellenbosch. He argued that South Africa could adopt a lower target similar to many of its peers which could lead to reduced inflation. Moreover, Kanyako acknowledged that adjusting the target is a complex process involving both political and economic factors. In addition, the Reserve Bank is set to announce its final interest rate decision of the year on November 21. Let's take a look at some of the key takeaways from the Governor's lecture. Uh, uh, good afternoon. Um, I, 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 when I was asked to come and, uh, and speak here, I struggled to find what I should, I should talk about, and I decided to retreat into my comfort, uh, which is monetary policy. So my subject today is lower inflation. It is a major global theme. We have experienced the biggest inflation surge in decades, and now policymakers are looking back at lessons learned. I want to reflect on these lessons. I also want to discuss South, the South African experience with lower inflation. For that, I will focus on our move to 4.5% as the midpoint objective of monetary policy, a change we introduced back in 2017. All of this is relevant to our ongoing discussion about inflation target and the desirability of moving to a lower target in line with our peers. However, it does not mean that the administered price inflation problem is worse at a target of 4.5% than 6%. Similarly, raising the inflation target will not necessarily improve the situation. If you have a higher target, you would expect all prices to rise faster across the economy. You would expect your currency to lose its buying power for global commodities such as energy and food fast. 